and welcome to the Josh and Ashley Show. We're your host, Josh and Ashley Franks. Today, we have a very special guest with us today. You're already laughing. One like no other. I'll promise you that. Yes. You will not want to miss this entire show today because uh, you're if you if you don't have a tickle bone, you'll have one That's when we right. get done today. <laughs> I promise you, we're going to have a great time. And again, we want you to stay with us and stay through this whole show today because you're going to be encouraged, you're going to be blessed, and we're just going to have a fun time. You know, I believe God's people ought to be the happiest people on the face of the earth. It's true. The Bible says that Mary Hart doeth good like That's medicine. Right. And uh, I think we ought to be a happy people. Yeah. I think we ought to turn our frown upside down and smile and be happy in the Lord Jesus, especially if you've been saved, if right. you've been born again, if your name's recorded in the Lamb's Book of Life. You've got something to be happy about. This world is not your home. You're just passing through, and you're getting ready to take a ride on the old gospel ship headed towards that wonderful city, the holy city, New Jerusalem. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to take a trip in the good old gospel ship. I'm going far beyond the sky. I'm going to shout and sing until the heavens ring while I'm bidding this world goodbye. Now I have the news to bring, and that is why I sing all my joys to you. Yeah. I plan to take a trip in the good old gospel ship and go sailing through the air. I'm going to take a trip in the good old gospel ship. I'm going far beyond the sky. I'm going to shout and sing until the heavens ring while I'm leading this world goodbye. All my time in prayer Then when my ship comes in I'm gonna leave this world of sin And go sailing through the air I'm gonna take a trip In the good old gospel ship I'm going far beyond the sky I'm gonna shout and sing Until the heavens ring While I'm bidding this world Goodbye, and while I'm bidding this world goodbye. Welcome back to the Josh and Ashley Show. Ashley, we have a guest today. He's going to tickle your funny ball. I promise you that. <laughs> we are so happy to have this gentleman with us. He is a Christian humorist. Mm -hmm. He is also a part of the Gospel Music Hall of Fame. He is a part of an in induction. And uh, let's see, what else could we say about him? Is there anything else you can think of? You about covered it. <laughs> You're saying there's not much to say. He there's speaks for himself. Yes. I heard him say born crazy and relapsed twice. Is what Ladies and gentlemen, Tim Lovelace. Tim, welcome to the Josh and Ashley Glad Show. Glad to be here with both of you. We're so happy to have you. Glad to be here. We were just talking about how many, I was asking you how many shows, and y'all have already done a hundred and something this already. This is our 132nd this, episode. Besides other yeah. TV programs that y'all have been a part of. That's so right. congratulations. Y'all are doing well, a great you. job. Speaking, you know, you're on the other end of this today. Yeah. Because uh, if my memory's correct, and I, I know that it is, <laughs> you have uh, you have hosted a few television shows. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Music you, City Show. We yeah. Went into the seventh season. Wow. And so uh, produced by Scott Godsey. And, normally uh, you're on this side. And normally I'm I'm asking the question. I remember one episode <laughs> that you were the host and you also did an interview of yourself. Yes. Yeah. And, and so I you... didn't have a whole lot of uh, a warning about <laughs> this. You're like, you know, we're going to do something fun and have you interview yourself. And yeah. So, uh, Back and forth. Yeah. So I basically I started out, I didn't know exactly what I was going to do, but I started out with a really hard question and I used some larger words. Oh, yes. I jumped up and ran around the other side and I had the 
the the, uh, the the you know the, the other part of me be a little bit more dense. Yeah. And when he finally got around, there's kind of like, would you repeat the question? Is that real? Low? And that's just kind of how it started. And it went downhill. From it there. went downhill. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was great. It was great. Tim, tell us about your family. You have a wonderful, beautiful family. Your wife, children. Tell us about them. Well, I am blessed. My wife. We just celebrated. We were friends for five years before we got married, but yeah. we just celebrated just the other day 25 years. Wow. Congratulations. Thank you very much. She deserves, I mean, the, yes, she the does. huge grant. Well, you, you all know. Watch you it. You know what I mean? I mean. Tell us about your daughters. Yeah, <laughs> tell us about your daughters. Yeah. Uh, but, um, but, yeah, uh, Mary Alice, she, uh, she's uh, very intelligent. I've always said the only thing I question is maybe her choice and who she chose for a husband. Well, you yeah, know. I'm more a little crazy, but, but we're, we're actually a, a, just a great match. I'm yeah, you be are. Best friends, and, uh, and, and she's got a, 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 just a wonderful sense of humor. She lays me out all oh, the time. I mean. And she is funny and, uh, and very intelligent and, and does a lot of different things, a couple record companies, and, uh, and uh, works, uh, you know, writes dollyparton.com and, and uh, Stoketown Records and, and just a lot of, she does a lot. I don't even know what all she does, yes. but, <laughs> but she's my precious wife. And we have two girls. Yeah. And they are uh, 17 and 18. Wow. The oldest is Gabrielle. Yeah. And then our second one is Gracie. And yeah. so they're doing wonderful. That's and I'm great. a blessed man. And I've got a little chihuahua that thinks it's a bulldog. And that's my family oh. <laughs> right there. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. And uh, now you got started in God gospel music by doing what? Well, I, um, you know, it, it, it if I can get the shorter version, I was raised around it. My family, they were shape note singers. So, yeah. so, me, so, me, so. And they did all the shape notes. One of my uncles was in the Stamps Quartet back in the 40s. And uh, they were all, all singers and musicians. And so I was raised around a lot of people that could really play the piano and wow. sing and sight read. Uh, my mom and dad uh, were, were both, uh, uh, both love music and uh, and we're and we're good singers and musicians, and uh, then I started playing in a, a quartet. I was probably 17, and working in a recording studio because I just love music sure. and different styles. And uh, uh, played with a group uh, that Billy Todd and, and George Forbes were, uh, were in for for a few years. And then I joined the when I went on the road was with the Florida Boys. The Florida Boys. And, uh, the one and only Florida yes, Boys. Yes, sir. And, uh, and uh, Les Beasley and all the guys, Glenn and, and yeah. Daryl. And, and so I was with them nine years. And I tell people for them, it seemed like I was with them 50, <laughs> but I was with them nine years. We had you know, I didn't time. realize you were there that long. Yeah. And you were there for a good while. I didn't yeah, realize nine, nine years. Nine years. And uh, from there, I went to Kingsman. And then I played piano for JKS on the Gaither Tour. And then right. the last whatever, 20-something years, whatever, basically going from city to city and state to state, telling people I'm... Um, I'm uh, crazy and ignorant, <laughs> and they pay me, and I go home. So, so you started in in gospel music by playing the piano, but you, most people don't realize um, you're also a very accomplished songwriter. Well, I, and I, uh, you've I, wrote I, you've wrote a lot of songs. I, I, I do love to write, but I I write serious songs right? or even just uh, fun songs. But yeah, I write. Um, more the serious style for other groups. Right. I right. save the crazy ones for myself because <laughs> yeah. the IQ of the singer should match the right. IQ of, right. of the song. Right. So, so I keep the crazy ones for myself. But yeah, I've, I've been writing for a lot of years. And what's yeah. what's some of the songs that you've written? Some of the artists Over the you've year? written for? Yeah. Oh, let's see. Uh, Cathedrals, uh, uh, an old convention song. Yeah. Uh, several of Karen Peck's. Uh, Whenever the wind blows. Uh, Bend in the river of life. Uh, I've written for the Kingsmen and Greater Vision and. Um, uh, let's see, uh, I Bring You Forgiveness and Kingdom Heirs and a whole bunch of them. The some list of, goes some, on. Some of the newer ones would be like uh, um, Alabama Mud and yeah. uh, uh, Ivan Parker's uh, title project. And, and, uh, and uh, I know with Day Wind, as well yeah. as I'm Stowe Town right. as an artist. Daywind as a writer. Well, how and about so that? So I did a Christmas musical through through Daywind. Yeah. So, so, so I love you, all different styles. You have your guitar today. Uh, yeah. Does that mean you want to sing one? You well, want, good. You, we could sing one together, or, or we could, uh, or just pretend like nothing happened. It well, I, I mean, that's totally up to you. What What do you got in mind today? Well, I was thinking uh, maybe could do uh, the title of my my current project. Oh yeah. It's called Living in a Coffee World. Are y'all oh, coffee drinkers? Yeah. Well, you Actually, know what? no. You're not really not. Well, maybe. 
maybe you'll be converted after this. Well, maybe. It's, here, it's, it's an easy step. You just walk over and pour the coffee and drink it, and then okay. you end up like me. But um, <laughs> but uh, growing up, my parents had a percolator. You know, it'd wake me up early in the morning. And yeah. today we have, you know, Keurig on steroids. Oh, yeah, the same yeah. thing. And I have Starbucks. I call them four bucks. <laughs> but, uh, but I was out there in Seattle where they started all this stuff, and, and, and a young college guy, he'd seen me somewhere at a concert. He said, you should try my specialty drink. And I hated to say no. And so I did, and and I'm ADD already. Oh. And so uh, I called my wife and I said, I'm not gonna fly home. And she's like, what happened? I said, well, the drink was so strong, I'm gonna walk. I'll get there quicker, <laughs> you know what I mean? And so it gave me gave me a crazy idea for the song. So this is a title project, but we can just do it right here. Well, right. let's hear I'm, it. It's a new song, but I'll kind of do it old style. I, I love it. Do you grow the plants here yourself, John? Yeah, I do. You're doing a good job. Well, it was early in the morning and my feet were dragging. I was foggy headed, eyelids sagging. When I stopped by a brand new coffee shop right down the road. I walked in and the guy said, I'll be your barista. I said, no, thank you, but would you help me please, sir? But making me a real strong cup of joe. Well, he pointed to board and said, what'll it be? When I saw a bunch of words look foreign to me and I knew I'd bit off more than I could swallow. There was espresso, romano, and mocha latte, cappuccino, and cinnamon dolce, coconut and almond milk for something called a macchiato. Well, he saw me stare and he knew I was confused. He said, mister, I have the drink for you. The freight train espresso, that's my specialty. He said, it's got a lot of kick, but it'd be no trouble. If you're man enough, I'll make you a double. I said, fire that machine up and make a triple for me. Y'all are way ahead of me, aren't you? You know where I'm going. Well, it was a little bitty cup. I turned it up and I was finishing a couple of sips. Then my face started twitching, my scalp started itching, lost a feeling in my lower lip. Then my eyes flew open like saucers. And my heart started racing like a stallion. I jumped up, knocked over somebody's computer, yelled, I should have learned Italian. It's a coffee world we're living in today. And you need to be bilingual to know the right words to say in your head will be spinning like you're riding on a tilt a whirl. You gotta know that caffeine lingo when you're living in a coffee world. You know, Ashley, you know Mary Alice really good. She told me the other day, she said, you do need to quit drinking so much coffee. And I said, what do you mean? She said, you did 13 miles on the treadmill yesterday. And I said, well, that's good for you. She said, well, it wasn't plugged in. <laughs> well, I drove home, scalded my tires, not saying I was speeding, but a cheetah on fire would have never had a chance catching up with me. I painted the house, cleaned the garage up nice, raked the yard, mowed it twice. Then I heard my wife call the coffee shop and ask, do you make deliveries? It's a coffee world we're living in today. And you need to be bilingual to know the right words to say and your head will be spinning like you're riding on a tilt a whirl. You gotta know that caffeine lingo when you're living in a coffee world. I know that caffeine lingo. When you're li <laughs> you're looking at me like that boy really needs medication more than caffeine. When you're living in a coffee world. Oh yeah. That is great, Tim. So oh my. Tim Lovelace, ladies and gentlemen. Tim, if these people want to learn more about you, how can they do that? Well, they can check with my parole officer. Oh. No, they can uh, go to timlovelace.com. Yeah. And um, of course, I'm all on social media and all of that. And and come out when I'm going to be in the area. Because sure. We have a lot of fun, play a lot of instruments. You know, I play different instruments in the show and, and, and have a lot of fun and laugh. But the bottom line is I want to encourage people in Jesus. Absolutely. And that's what we're supposed to do, you know? Yeah. And uh, give people something to laugh about. There's there's enough of bad news in yes. the world today. Let's share some hope, some, right. some good news, well, something you, encouraging. You know. And you know, uh, before Jesus went, before he went to the cross, when he was when he was there w with the disciples, he said, "I want my joy right to remain in you." Yeah. And a lot of times we miss out on that real joy. Absolutely. And if, and if the Savior came to give us abundant life. 
and he wants us to have Jesus joy. Yeah, exactly. I want it. I want all that he's got, got it. for me. Yeah. And yeah. I want to keep it. Amen. And I want other people to, yeah. people to experience it, that it, that we get saved first, but yeah. there's no need to live a life underneath a cloud. That's right. He That's right. came for you abundant, know, there's some joyful people, life. Tim, uh, they say they've been saved, uh, but they act like they're mad about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> they had notified their face. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you know? And I think we ought to be happy people. Absolutely. I think, I think the best testimony we can give as people to see us, we're all going through things. Certainly. But to see the joy of Christ within our life in the middle of a storm. Absolutely. Instead of complaining all the time. Absolutely. To see the joy and they're like, why, why are you so happy with what you're going through? Yeah. And you go, because it's not in my strength. That's right. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Amen. And that's the joy we find in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Tim Lovelace here on the Josh and Ashley Show today. And I pray for those of you that may be watching and those that are listening right now, wherever that you are, if you don't know this man named Jesus that we talk about, that we share about, uh, that we're trying to deliver to you, I pray that you'll find him as your Lord and Savior. Uh, this is why we come to you each and every week, because we want you to know and experience this same joy, this peace we have in our heart and our life. And, uh, it, you know, the Bible talks about it's joy unspeakable and full of glory. Right. It's right. a peace that passeth all understanding. Tim, I, I can't explain it. I wish right. I could. Right. I wish I could tell people how wonderful that the Lord is. And I try in my feeble way and my little vocabulary. But it, as the old saying is, it's better felt than tell. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, and that's what we want really you is. to experience today this wonderful peace, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what you're facing, no matter what you're going through, we want you to know Jesus Christ Amen. and experience this wonderful joy that we have. And I pray that you'll do that today. Tim, thanks for being a part of the Josh and Ashley Show. I'm glad to be with both of you. And uh, pray the Lord just continues to bless your ministry well, and thank your families. You. And, uh, and for everyone watching out there, that they will just trust in the Lord and, and, and get all the goodness and joy and and eternal life that he has for them. Amen. And same for you, my friend. And again, your website is timlovelace.com. Tim com. Dot com. Just my name. Well, my name's not dot com, but timlovelace.com. <laughs> and they can figure all that they out. They can figure it out. Find your schedule there. You yep. have product there. They can mm -hmm. order your latest recording uh, or whatever they call it these days. Right, right. Uh, latest project. Latest project. They yep. can order that there. See where you're going to be and uh, read more about living in the coffee world, right? Absolutely. Exactly. Exactly. And so Facebook, uh, Twitter, Instagram, all that social media stuff, jump on there. there. And yep, and find out where I'm going to be and come out, and I promise you we'll have a good time. I guarantee you. Well, listen, we got to take a quick break. We got to go get a quick grab of a cup of coffee. And then when we come back from the break, <laughs> we're going to uh, have another song. And again, thank you for watching the Josh and Ashley Show. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Hey everybody, uh, listen, if I'm talking a little low, it's, it's, for, it's for a reason. Josh and Ashley, they've already said goodbye to me and they went for a little coffee break and then they were gonna come back and sing another song. And guess what? They're another part of the building. And I hijacked the stage. And so I told the camera guys, I said, go ahead and hit it. Give me one of those red lights. And so I'm just going to, you know, I'll probably get fired, but who cares? They've already told me goodbye. I've already got paid. And it's just me and Chick-fil-A from here on out. But here, here's the deal. If you've never seen me before, uh, I, I only like to brag on the Lord, but I was educated UCLA, which is pretty impressive. But it's not what you think it is. It's the upper corner of lower Alabama. But I am smart enough to know this. While they're gone, why don't you, if you're sitting there at your television, sing along with me. And I thought of a song that we all know frontwards and backwards. I'll fly away. You can nod your head and I'll pretend like I see you nodding it. I know we know that one. I'll fly away. Frontwards and backwards, we know it, everybody. So if you don't mind just sitting there in your chair, wherever you're sitting, just Sing along with me, okay? And since we know it frontwards and backwards, and it's just us, Josh and Ashley, they don't even know what's happening here. Since just us, just sing. Since we know it frontwards and backwards, just sing it backwards. Here we go, everybody, backwards. Away, fly, oh, glory, oh, away, fly. I don't hear anybody out there. Well, bye. Not even the camera guys help me. Huh? Well, away. 
Y'all not helping me at all, are you? You're just sitting there. I'm, some of you are probably shaking your head. I tell you what, let's do a verse. Just think backwards. When our oar is life, when morning glads some away, fly out. Come on, men, you think backwards all week. Help me out. Shore celestial God on home to away. <laughs> Y'all not helping me at all. Away. Fly. Okay, let's turn it around. Right there. Just sing with me. Let's turn it the other way. Well, I'll fly away, oh glory. I'll fly away. I don't hear you a little louder. Well, when I die, hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. I tell you what, when I die, hallelujah, by and by. Let's turn it around. You know, they say you can't teach anybody a new trick, not that there are any old dogs out there, but we're all, well, anyway, let's turn it around. Just three words, away, fly, I'll. Here we go, everybody. And I'd like a little harmony. Away, fly, I'll. Y'all did a good job. Now, don't, hey, don't tell hey, them. Hey, <laughs> what in the world is going on around here? Well, uh, you were, you were uh, um, having a coffee break, and <laughs> I just thought I would just... I thought I this just, was the Josh and Ashley show. It was, but today there's like dot, 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 Josh and Ashley, dot, dot, <laughs> dot, Tim Lovelace, and I thought <laughs> well, I'd join in. Well, it, it, don't I, go ahead and sing and make yourself at home. Oh, thank you, oh, thank you, Tim. Thank you, honey. Josh and <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> hey. Welcome back to the Josh and Ashley What just show. happened? I have no idea. Tim Lovelace is in the house. I That's the so. only thing I know. Well, I <laughs> hope you've had a good time. I hope whatever just happened was good. If it wasn't, blame it on Ashley. Anyways, we've had a great time. Hey, what a joy. We've had our friend Tim Lovelace. We've had you. I hope we brought you some hope and encouragement, and I hope you've been blessed today. All right. For the hurting child who has no mom or dad to hold them tight And the one with cancer who's been told they're losing the fight For the man who once had it all, now he roams the streets at night And those who long to undo all the wrongs and make there is trust in Jesus Christ. There's hope, friends. For the father of a wayward son who's been gone for years and the worried mom whose ultrasound confirms her deepest fears. For the searching soul whose troubled past has made
and because of the blood of Jesus Christ. God bless you.